It's your girl DJ at Genre. I'm a music producer, songwriter here in Chicago with a group by the name of Level Next Music. And I'm just coming for a real quick video on how to make sure that sounds.com is integrating with your native instruments applications. I had a little bit of trouble with this, so I just want to make sure that folks are able to get this hooked up because it, it should be a super cool thing. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is open up Native Access. So I'm going to open that up. And mine is set to automatically sign in, so it signs me in automatically. Um, go to your available updates, and you will see an update for whatever products you have. Um, it works with machine and complete control. If you have both machine and complete control, uh, make sure that you update both of those. And what I like to do after I update them is to go ahead and open them just so that the update takes into effect. And then I make sure it updated everything that it needed to update. And I know for sure that that the app is updated. So um, my apps are already updated. I have complete open down here because that's what I'm going to be using for this quick example. And you need to make sure that your ID, your native ID is the same ID that you use to sign into sounds.com. That was an issue that I have. I was using another ID for my sounds.com account, but you have to be using the same. It needs to be your native ID. So now that I've got that, I am going to X out of native access and I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I'm going to go to sounds.com. And now that I am in sounds.com, I need to go and I need to create a, uh, a new collection because you can only download from the collections. So I'm going to go ahead and click new collection. I see I already have a test for YouTube because I was doing this earlier just to make sure everything was cool. I'm going to do test for YouTube too. And I'm just going to grab, um, I'm going to use, I think I grabbed this one already. So I'm just going to, uh, to the right, I'm going to click this little collections tab and I'm going to add it to the collection. It does like a little sync thing. And now I know I've added it to the collection. All right. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go over to the left, click on the collection that I updated or, and there's the collection. So I need to make sure also one quick thing. I need to go make sure that I have this setting enabled. So in the top right corner, I'm going to click on my name, click on account at the very bottom. I need to make sure that I have enable download all to NI apps. I need to make sure that that's clicked. So that's a thing I almost forgot, but you need to make sure that you click that and so that it's ready for you to update. So I'm just going to go back here and I am back in the collection because without enabling that function, you're not going to see this on the right hand side. So now I just click the drop down arrow to the right and I'm going to click download. I want to go all to NI apps and it's going to use one of my credits. Okay. Cool. And downloading to all NI apps. So it's now downloading. I have noticed that this takes a little bit of time. Um, it, it, it's only a teeny tiny little wave file. So, you know, maybe they're still working on this, but it does take a little bit of time, but it does work. So I'm going to go down to complete control, open that up. Once you have downloaded everything, um, this little circle here is going to turn blue. All right. So did it download it? So it turned blue. Cool. It's downloaded. Now I can go open up complete. And you want to go over to the all one shops tab or the, the loops tab and click the arrow to the right. And you're going to see sounds.com at the bottom and you're going to see the things that you downloaded. All right. So I downloaded a couple of things earlier. The new thing that I downloaded is not there yet because that would have been the third thing. It would have been here, that collection. So it's downloaded through sounds and it's showing that it downloaded through sounds, but it hasn't showed up in complete yet. But, you know, I'm pretty confident it's going to show up. I've done it. This will be my third time doing it now. So here is the actual, one of the actual things that I downloaded for earlier. Just for the sake of time, I won't wait on the other one on video. But yeah, so 
that's how you integrate the sounds from sounds.com into your native instruments apps complete control and machine if you have any questions leave a comment below um still checking this whole thing out but yeah like comment subscribe it's your girl dj genre and i'm out Thank <laughs> you.